What's up guys, Justin here for SNS Archery. In today's gear video, we're gonna be looking at a new HHA site. So in today's gear video, we're gonna be checking out the new Rise. All right guys, in this video, we're gonna be focused and looking at the new HHA Rise. Uh, just hit the shelves not too long ago. Uh, they are up on our site for purchase. Um, but this is a double pin sight on a vertical pin system. So very popular. We see this with Spot Hog. Uh, Black Gold just came out with their version of the two pin. Uh, and now HHA has their own version. So I'll go ahead and dismount the sight from my bow. We'll go through the sight, uh, kind of an overview, and then uh, give you kind of my two cents on my testing and what I found with the sight itself. All right, so taking a look at the Tetra Tournament Edition Rise, now that it is off my bow, what we have here is a fully adjustable sliding sight, meaning you're basically gonna have set pins at set distances. You're gonna be able to dial out and shoot off of your sight tape. So regardless of the distance, once you have this set up, you're gonna be able to dial out and shoot 85 yards. So very common in today's bow sights. Uh, HHA just added this new sight to their lineup. This particular model, the Tournament Edition, is gonna come with a four inch dovetail. Uh, this is V3X compatible, so I have done a video on this. If you wanna see how it fits in that uh, Matthews Bridge Lock system, I'll go ahead and put the link right here. Uh, but the nice thing about the dovetail is it really allows you to fine tune the scope housing relative to your peep. So I can slide this in or out on my Bose riser. I can really fine tune that without having to adjust the peep size. So that is a benefit to the dovetail. Uh, another thing, as you can see, it's off my bow. I just had this simple dovetail knob. With the mounting bracket just came right off. Uh, so if you ever wanna take off the sight, whether it's for a hard case or just while you're hunting, sometimes you're in a really rough, brushy situation, you could take off your sight, put it in your pack, put it right back on, and you're gonna be good to shoot. Uh, you are gonna have the third axis adjustment built into the base up front here. So this is important for your angles, shooting uphill, downhill, long distance shots. Uh, if you set that up correctly, you, your bubble level is not going to drift on you. So you'll be a lot more accurate shooting those steep angles. As far as making adjustments on this site, very easy. You just have this locking nut here on the side. Once you unloosen it, now you can dial out. Uh, and honestly, I have to say this is probably one of the smoothest moving up and down elevation rails uh, that we sell here at SNS. Everything is built very strong, all machined aluminum. And then you have this brass guide system. So. Uh, just high-end materials, and like I said, ultra smooth. Within the adjustment of this sight, you are going to get all these different sight tapes that are going to correspond to your arrow's ballistics. Uh, within HHA, you're also getting these test strips. So very simple process to sight this in. Basically, it's already going to come with the test strip on it. But they give you additional ones. You're gonna go out, dial this into 20, shoot, dial it out to 60, shoot, and then basically match up those ballistics to the right number on the top of your sight tapes. So very easy process. Took me about 45 minutes to be 100% mounted, sighted in, and then dialed all the way out to 100 yards and be able to hit the target right where I want. So very easy install process with these HHA sights. As far as the front of the sight, your windage adjustment is all toolless. Uh, this is awesome. Basically, you can just unloosen this front locking knob. You can make big adjustments by just pushing over the housing in or out. Or once you're close, then you can use the micro adjustment here on the side. Uh, the one thing to know with uh, HHA sites moving forward is you are going to start seeing the infinite adjust plate. So this mounts on to where your normal uh, windage adjustment would mount. This is gonna give you more left and right adjustment. So if you're a guy that has that new Matthews V3X, this bracket is gonna give you all the adjustment needed. Or, or guys that are shooting the Hoyt Picatinny uh, conversion kit on this site as well. I personally, here on my Hoyt, mounted it up on the side, didn't need the, the bracket itself, so I just left it off uh, to do the side end process. This is also where you're going to be making your second axis adjustment, either on the infinite adjust plate or right up here on the rail itself with these two Allens, the top and the bottom. So as you loosen those and tighten those, uh, basically this the scope housing is gonna pivot on you. You're gonna be able to line the bubble level up with your string so everything is, is all set up correctly. All right, so when we take a look at the housing, this is where the big changes have been made with the new Rise. 
Uh, as you can see here, we have two pins on a vertical inline system. Uh, like I said, very easy to get on target, not drift left and right. I really love the double pin. Single is just not enough, but the double pin gives you that added security if your animal ever bumps out. I really like that. The one thing you need to know is there's no setting the pin gaps on this site. So this is a fixed system. So your, your pin gap here between your top and bottom are gonna be the same, and they're gonna to correspond to the needles, your actual pointers. So for some people, this might only be 10 yards. It might be 20 yards. This just depends on your bow's ballistics. As far as my setup, my testing, I found I was about 13 to 14 yards in between those pin gaps. Um, so, uh, you know, I run a heavier arrow right around that 500 grain mark. So my speeds probably run in the, in the ballpark of 270 to 273, somewhere in there. So if you increase that speed, just know your pin gaps are going to grow. So taking a step back and looking at the HJ sight tapes, these are actually their long distance tapes. So they, they work great corresponding to this needle system, these two pins for really getting you the most distance possible. Uh, some of these sight tapes, depending on your setup, go upwards to 185 yards. So if you really like to stretch it out, you can do it with these sight tapes. But just know that that's all gonna depend on your arrow speed. For me, the most I could get was about 100 yards before my arrow was going to come in conflict with the housing. I didn't want to stretch it, roll it down any, any closer. So if I were to shoot off my bottom needle, about 111, 110 yards. So just something to know on that. As far as the two pins on the rise, these are going to be either in 19 thousandths or 10 thousandths in green and yellow. Uh, and I'd say, honestly, probably right in the middle as far as brightness and dullness uh, out of all the sights that I've shot. Uh, what is nice with the scope housing is you can kind of fine tune the amount of light coming into those fiber optics. So here you can see I have it fully opened. Uh, that way it's gathering as much light as possible if I'm in a dark situation. And then I can close this down with a simple twist. And now it's, those pins aren't going to wash out, be too bright. So just some cool ingenuity here on the scope housing kind of separates HHA. Overall, I think the Rise is a great addition to the HJ sights. Uh, having a two pin uh, for guys that like that single pin, you know, if you're a tree stand hunter, whitetail guy, even for elk, in my opinion, most of my shots are in, in the ballpark of 20 to 45. So as long as I have this somewhere close to say set up at 30 and 45, pretty much set. Um, but if you, you know, you, you pretty much know the spot and if they bump out, you're pretty much covered. Uh, that just makes a double pin super nice. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the new Rise or anything else in the store that we carry, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.